welcome back to my channel. I am Auntie Tay, and if you're new here, make sure that you click the subscribe button because I love you guys and I love my subscribers. I love our family here on YouTube and I'm here like once or twice a week and then always live on Thursdays, Lord willing. So make sure that you check out all of the goodness that I try to produce for you guys so that we can have this weird digital relationship, but I definitely love it. So make sure you click subscribe. Okay. Moving on with what we're actually doing today, I'm gonna teach you guys how I design my Christmas cards every year on the extreme cheap. If you guys don't know me, and if you do, you guys know that I try to do everything on a budget or try to save money in the best way possible without actually looking like I saved a ton of money. So these Christmas cards actually look like they are more designer and more amazing than regular old Costco or whatever Christmas cards that you can get. So I want to show you how I use PicMonkey and Snapfish and this is not sponsored. These are actually two websites that I use all the time. Okay guys? All the time. And these save me a ton of money and my Christmas cards are amazing and I'm actually going to get them out this year. So if you're watching this and you're usually supposed to be one of my Christmas card receivers and you haven't received it, guess what? You're going to probably get a Christmas card this year because I actually committed to this and I've done it. And so if you're like me, and you don't send out your Christmas cards very often, you gotta start early, guys. You gotta start early. But the nice thing about Snapfish is they have super extreme good sales, like last minute, so don't worry. And these are really easy and cheap, so let's get going. And you can also hand out Christmas cards. You don't have to mail them. That's a great idea, too. Just let's go with the video. We're going to make our Christmas cards on the cheap by using pickmonkey.com. This is one, we're also gonna use snapfish.com. So we're gonna design them in pickmonkey and then we're going to print them out through snapfish. So I like to do this a couple different ways. We can either design them, we can make a collage first, or we can just edit a photo already that's already made. So let's start by designing a collage. So you can choose the images. You've got a bunch of different places that you can choose them from. I am just going to grab some from my family photos and I will show you guys. I've done a couple, so this would be an example of just pulling in a photo and kind of decorating it. And then we have, let's see, on my desktop, I've got, um, I've got a couple other examples. So this is a collage that I did and I'm gonna show you how I did this little extra little banner in the center. Then you've got the horizontal collage with a little doodad on the front. So that one's really easy to make. Then you can also do like a more advanced collage if you want. And um, here is an example of one where I also did a collage. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the pictures we want first. And that's where we just were. So I'm just gonna snag a few of these. I'm gonna snag the one of Landis and Hunter. Um, let's see, the one of the girls and us in the background. And maybe the one of us laying down and maybe the one of just the girls right here. Okay, so let's open these and we're gonna resize our collage. So the best thing that I like to do because I design these myself is I use Snapfish and I'm gonna be making four by six cards this year that I'm gonna be putting on to handmade cards, which we're gonna do at the end of this video. Um, but I want to make these exactly four by six so that they don't get cropped or anything like that. So I'm gonna do four by six um, up and down. So that would be, I want the resolution to be pretty good, so I'm gonna multiply that by three. So up and down would be 400 by 600. I'm gonna unlock this so I can make it exactly what I want. So I think I'm gonna do it by two then. So that would be 1200 tall. So we're gonna type 1200 here. And here we're gonna do 800 because that's, well, okay, that would be if we wanna do it horizontal. So I'm gonna do, 800 here and 1200 here. Okay, so that's a four by six because it's four times 10 would be 400 times two would be 800. It's divisible by four divisible by six. And 
uh, yeah, so that's a four by six. So you can come and change your collage. Uh, I think this will change the size if I picked it. Yep, so I'm gonna undo that because I want to go back to my four by six layout by doing 800 by 12. So you can pick your design and then do your size if that's what you want. So let's just go with that. And I might bring in some more photos then. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I think you can autofill if you want, but that's gonna kinda put them wherever you want. And you'll see that this photo doesn't fit, but I want it to fit, so I'm gonna remove this square. Actually, okay, I'll remove. Sometimes it's better just to do it manually. Um, let's try if we remove this square. Nope, okay, it goes over there. So let's just do this manually. So you can put your pictures however you want them. You can kind of put some all the way going up and down. You could put some going, so I think I'll put this one over here because it has all of us in it. I'm gonna swap it and maybe go like this. And then I want these to be tall and this one to be short. There we go. But then it's kind of off because I don't have one of just Briley, I just have one of Landis and Hunter. But that's okay, it's cute. Okay, so then you can go over here and you can take away the outside if you want there to be no spacing or you can leave spacing and you can make the spacing a certain color. So let's just make it red. You can round your corners if you want them rounded, but I don't really want them. Um, then you can also make, you can delete some of these so that you just have that cell sticking through. So let's see, where did they put undo on this? They used to have an undo button down here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Let's flip it. See, I flipped it again. So there used to be an undo button down here, but there's not anymore. So I'm going to, I tried to command Z it and it didn't work. So let's just go with this. So now that we have a collage, you can either leave an empty cell so you can type in it later, or you can just go on top of this. So we'll just decorate on top. If I wanted to have a gap somewhere so that I could write, I could put a picture and then delete it and then make the gap where I wanted it so that I could put, you know, Merry Christmas right here or whatever I wanted to put or wherever. Um, and then you can make that go all the way across. You can make that go all the way up and down depending on where you want it. But I'm going to take that out because I'm going to just decorate this photo. I'm going to bring these down so you can see us all the way. So we're not all cut off. You can also move these photos. You can edit these photos. Um, you can open each photo in editor, I believe, and edit them individually. But since somebody took these for us and they're already awesome, I'm just gonna send this whole thing to editor. And that's just telling me I can't go back. So now that we're in editor, we can decorate this. So we can put some text. I'm going to add some text. I'm just gonna say, Merry Christmas and you can change the color of this. Um, you can change the effect of this. If you want to have kind of a fun graphic-y look, you can do like a, the difference and make it a color. Not sure I even like that. I don't like that actually. But this is one I didn't do. I kind of wanted to do one kind of cool and like, um, I guess it would be modern. But I wanted it to kind of like say Merry Christmas, but not like this right here. Something like this. And then maybe on the right, just kind of funky and cool. Not, And then maybe change the color so that it's kind of Christmassy, but not, yeah, like that. So something like that. Oop. And then you can come and do some doodads. You can also come down here. This changes depending on what the time of the year is. Obviously we're making this during Halloween, so Halloween is the first thing that pops up. But during Christmas time, that will show something that has to do with Christmas. And they have all these themes. Um, so you can go into Santa Land, say I wanted to put on some cute hats, maybe on Landis up here, maybe on Hunter. Maybe I'll put a hat on Landis that's a little small. Let's make it a little bigger. Or I could put the hat on Hunter. Let me show you how I would erase this. So I'm gonna fade this so I can see Landis's face. And I'm gonna take the eraser and I'm gonna erase where Landis's face is. And this will make it look like his hat goes behind her. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to go back to basic and I'm gonna unfade it. 
so that looks like that. And then he has a hat on. I mean, you could do that if you want, and then maybe put like, I'm just showing you guys fun things you can do if you wanna make it pretty fun. They have a lot of different things that you can do on um, Pick Monkey. So you could also erase just like this little spot right here. Uh, it's a little bit too much, but you get what I mean. I'm not gonna add these because I like our pictures the way they are. But you could put little reindeers. You could put some on your doggy or whatever. You could put some cherry noses on you. Um, but there's also these fun little season messages. Like I could do Merry Christmas like this. And I could change the color of this if I wanted. Say I wanted to put this in the middle or on that little spot where we had the um, extra little thing. Or I could put it up here and put it in the corner. So you can kind of get just creative with however you want it. And then once you're done with this, we're going to um, export these and we're just going to save them and you make sure you save them to um, high resolution because you want your photos to come out really well. So we'll do Christmas card, Christmas card three or five I think I'm on. Okay, so we're going to export that to the computer. I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can find it easily. And then I'm going to go over to snapfish.com. And Snapfish is really awesome because you can get some really good deals. So like right now, save 50% on all orders uh, with October 2, or 5, October 5017. I don't know what the five is from, 50. 5017, that's what it means. Okay, so, or they're 60% off all cards, and what you wanna do is sign up for their, uh, whatchamacallit, their deals. Because during the Christmas season, they have amazing deals. They have like 300 prints for a dollar, and if you're doing this, this would be the time to order like 300 of these prints, because then you'll have 300 Christmas cards. I don't know why anyone needs this, but look at that. Print sale, get 100 four by six prints for a dollar with 100 penny October. So they have this kind of stuff all the time. That's why I do my Christmas cards like this and I can actually make my Christmas cards look really fancy on really cheap. So we're just gonna sign in and if you're a first time user, you can um, sign in over here and get your 100 prints free at any time. So uh, make sure you check that out if you have not done that already. So what we're gonna do, what we're just gonna do is upload um, our photos that we have. So we can call this Christmas 2017. Now we're gonna select our photos and I'm gonna pick Christmas card five and I'm gonna open that. And then the cool thing about Snapfish is you can send this to a local store. You're not gonna get those great deals. So if you don't have any time, you could send these to like Walgreens or Walmart and get them within an hour. But we're not gonna do that because we're ahead of the game and we're gonna order our 100 prints of these. I don't even think they have to be the same. So let's upload all of them. I'm just gonna do it while I'm on, on this video with you guys because I saw that they have this sale. So I'm gonna order, um, I think I actually set these to be five by sevens, so I'm gonna go in and redo those as five by seven, or as four by sixes before I do that. So I can order a hundred of these for a dollar though. So let's just cancel this and let's order four by six prints. And I'm just gonna pick uh, the Christmas cards that we just went through and I would just select this guy and add to order one four by six, or I can do a hundred four by sixes. Normally this would be $9, but I'm also gonna do them in matte because I want it to look pretty cool. And I'm gonna add this to cart. Then we're gonna use that coupon code, which I already forgot. So we would just finish this process, order it, and then they'd be delivered to your door. And then you can start the next process of this video, which is making these videos, these cards. <laughs> so let's get going. And then when I'm done with that, I just take my four by sixes that I ordered and I tape them into some really fancy cards that I get at Michael's and I usually just wait till those are on sale and I can just spruce them up with twine or stickers or washi tape and it just really gives it a handmade touch and it's not as expensive if I were to order these like boutique style cards 
from Etsy or something like that. But they would turn out super cute and you can do them all differently so each person gets a customized handmade card. But um, just get creative with it and people will absolutely love it. So just there's so many opportunities or possibilities with this type of thing. So just have fun with it and Merry Christmas. This is my Christmas card to you guys. Love you guys. Bye.